welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. You find me in my bathroom. I'm going to do a video for you which has been much requested and it is my how do I do my hair video. So um, I am quite blessed. I have got naturally curly hair but left to its own devices it would be a total freaking frizzy mess. So there are certain things that I do. So if this is something that interests you, if you've got sort of any interest in curly hair and what to do with it, then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you are absolutely not interested at all, then well, you can you can watch it for the walls. But other than that, um, <laughs> it probably won't. If your hair's poker straight, this will be of absolutely no interest to you whatsoever. So you find me in a state of um, wet hair. So I have. I know, I'm gonna shock you now, been for a run this morning. Oh my God, it was such a hard run. I, I, it was like, I did about a mile and a half <laughs> of walking and running and walking and running. And every step that I took when I was running, I was like, this is hell, I hate my life. <laughs> but I did it and I, my, my thought for the day is, if you take nothing else away from this video, a shit run is better than no run. So, but it really was a bad run. <clears throat> so, I've come home, I've had a shower, and then I've had my hair up in a towel for far too long while I have devoured sourdough toast with marmalade, which, oh, gorgeous, with homemade marmalade by my friend, and it's absolutely divine. So, um, undid all the, undid? undone all the good work I did, undid all the good work I've done, it's one or the other. So the first thing I need to do is I've shampooed and conditioned my hair, it's got nothing in it, it's just as it is. Now I have got naturally curly hair um, and it's, but it, I mean I, I don't know if you've seen in another video that I've got, if you haven't, it's in a charity shop haul from a couple of weeks ago. I can dry it quite straight, so it's not sort of curly hair that there's absolutely nothing that you can do with it. It will dry straight without straighteners. Um, so this is sort of how you find me. So this is my natural state. I've done nothing to this. Now, what I find is that I have to have, to start off with, to do anything with my hair, I have to have it completely saturated. If I combed this now and put my products in and dried it, it will probably dry a little bit frizzy because the ends are already dry. So I do have to start off with it sort of completely saturated. And I just use um, a water spray. This was a product, Insta Style Curls, but it's absolutely crap. I got about halfway down it and threw it away because it was rubbish. So I just use this as a water spray now because it's got a good efficient pump. Um, so it does smell a little bit. I think I've had a bit of tea tree oil in here at some point as well in an effort to try and stave off, ow, stave off um, hair pets. If any of you have any good tips, we have been having a bit of a battle with my daughter, I have to say, over the last, probably since Easter. I've tried so many different things. We've now got that super duper silver comb. It's like round with sort of twirly prongs on, which does seem to be doing the trick really, but your know, hair's down to my waist and short of shaving it off, I really, <laughs> I really don't know what else to do. So, um, but it properly gives me anxiety. It's horrible. Um, right, so, comb, this is a comb, I could not tell you where it was from, and I think I've had this comb for 20 years, <laughs> but any sort of wide tooth comb will do. I have got a tangle teaser that I will use, see where I've just scratched my neck there, that really hurt. I have got a tangle teaser that I use for my daughter's hair, but it's not the right thing for my hair. I need a wide tooth comb. And no matter what I do to my hair, it just, it tangles up. I've got really, really knotty hair. Um, you know, I've got the sort of hair where, when my mum used to comb it when I was little, I would just cry. I still want to cry now on occasion when I, <laughs> when I comb it because it really does hurt. Um, my hair is coloured. It's not bleached. It's coloured and I use... Um, like an ash blonde to colour it with. I used to be a hairdresser, so I use, oh, you see my bingo wings going there. I use a colour from the wholesalers because I still have a card 
and I'm still able to get it from uh, the wholesalers. I'm just sort of trying not to yank it too much but just to see if I can get through. See it's still too dry on the ends, I'm still going to have to saturate it a little bit more I think. So really really hurts and I don't necessarily put any sort of parting into my hair. So that's it, that's my hair sort of completely combed through. But as you can see around the front of my hair my colour is growing out now and I'm just grey. I am so grey and these bits here and these bits under here don't even colour anymore. They're so white. This is like my natural colour. So, and I do lose, I mean, that's good. My shedding time, because I do have a time where I lose a mammoth amount of hair, tends to be about October. And I don't know, see, it's, I do get a lot of hair that comes out. Um, I, yeah, in October, God, you could stuff a cushion. Let me shove that in the bin. It's that, oh, that's missed. Oh, my, oh God, hang on, that's gone on my toe. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to wet it a little bit more. Because like I say, I want it completely sort of saturating. And I'm saturating myself. Had to go to the dentist yesterday. Oh God, what a bloody trauma that was. I, for some reason, get a stupid amount of anxiety about the dentist. I don't get anxious about much apart from hair pets and the dentist. And we had to go yesterday. I have been putting off going for so long. I have um, some sensitivity down at the bottom here. I've got no idea. There's a filling in the tooth. And just, well, not even just lately. I've not been for so long. Over the last probably 18 months, it's got worse and worse and worse. And now I literally put something in my mouth and then go like that because it hurts so much and I'm constantly chewing over this side. So um, we had an appointment to go in June. It was like the week before my birthday, about the 3rd of June, I think. And we got a phone call that morning. I'd literally like geared myself up and we got a phone call that morning to say, the dentist has broken her leg, <laughs> so she's not in. So we're going to have to rearrange your appointments. And part of me was like, oh God, no, because I've just geared myself up. And part of me was like, absolutely get in with your broken leg. <laughs> Uh, but obviously, you know, right, really sorry. Um, <laughs> so, ended up going yesterday, got there, signed all the papers, took my children. And, you know, I've got to be dead brave. And um, she said, oh, yeah, so um, you're seeing Mr. Whoever, and because your dentist still isn't in. I was like, no, no, because I thought, I know I'm going to see her. I know she knows me. She knows my anxiety. You know, she'll be okay. And I was like, oh my God, I've got to see somebody different and this is going to be horrific. And anyway, my son went first, absolutely fine, my daughter the same, and I sat down and I, and you know when you start gabbling? And I was like, well, I haven't been for so long. And he went, yes, I can see that you haven't been for, for quite a long time. And I was like, yes, I know, but I do get quite anxious. And he's like, okay. And he was like quite like deadpan. And uh, but it made me laugh because he got this assistant called Janet. <laughs> And um, he, he just kept like calling her by her name. And you know when like they have to shout out your teeth so that the assistant can like mark them off. But she kept, she was, they do it all on a computer now. You know how they used to do it on paper when I was all on a computer. And she couldn't, she marked the wrong tooth off and then had to like, she couldn't undo it. And he's going, well you're going to have to undo that Janet. And she was like trying and he said, I said 3E, not 3C Janet. And he just kept calling her Janet. And at the end of everything he said, he called her Janet, but like dead aggressively. And then he kept rolling his eyes and then she kept like rolling her eyes at us. We were like, I was like quite, it was so awkward. They were like, obviously that had this intense like hatred of each other, the dentist and his assistant. But, uh, but in fairness, he was actually really, really nice. So um, I had x-rays and he said he cannot see a reason why there's any sensitivity down here, but I've got to have a filling up at the top where I've already got a filling, but he said there's something's going on underneath it. So that's got to come out and I've got to have another filling in. And then I've spoken to him about a potential veneer at the front. Um, I don't know whether any of you have noticed in any of my other videos, but I've actually got a tooth at the front that I had to have a root canal filling in. Oh God, probably about 10 years ago now. 
and the tooth is slightly discoloured at the front and it is the bane of my life, I absolutely hate it and I've spoken to numerous dentists about having something done and because of where it is and the position of the tooth it would be too awkward to crown so I've spoken to him yesterday about potentially doing a veneer on it so I think that maybe before the end of the year I might have that done. So um, yeah but I came out I was like oh god I did it, I went to the dentist, I didn't cry. <laughs> Because I always cry when I go to the dentist, I hate it. And um, even and I, all yesterday, I spent being totally anxious, knowing I was going to get anxious in the dentist, sort of a pre-anxiety anxiety, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, um, oh, and here come the bin men, just in time. So anyway, back to my hair. So yeah, no wonder my hair keeps drying because I just keep waffling. So that's my hair in its kind of, undone state just just wash just comb state so like you can see it doesn't curl up like you know some people's hair you brush it and it immediately sort of springs back up like a telephone wire um i bet i bet there are people here who don't even know what a telephone wire is people watching if you are not born in the sort of 70s or 80s you didn't have a telephone that your parents could put a lock on so you couldn't die on your mates before six o'clock when it was expensive. Um, is it still, is that still a thing? That it's expensive before six o'clock? Who knows? We have a landline now. We don't even know what, to, when it rings, we're like that. What, what was that? I didn't even know it still worked. Bloody landline ringing. Um, so, oh God, I'm sorry, I'm just losing a little bit more hair. So I use two products. So the first product that I use is by L'Oreal, can you see that? And it's Dual Stylers, I've shown you this in a previous video. Bouncy and Tender Duo Cream, and it's got a little thing on the back there. It's all, it's like two tubes, there's a tube within a tube. So there's cream on the outside, or gel on the outside and cream on the inside. So it tells you that if you squeeze that button, you'll get a equal amount of both. It's very clever. That's covered in hair, it's so gross. So, just, so I'm just going to squeeze that button and I get about that much and then what I'm going to do, if I can get the lid back on, is literally just swoosh it into my hands and then I just run it all the way right from the roots to the tips and remember underneath as well. So I don't do anything with it sort of curly-wise at this stage. There we go. So my hair's quite long at the minute and I mean, I always have a bit of a, never knew what to do with it. Last, it's probably about last October, but last summer it was really long. It was probably about this length when it was wet and I loved it and then I got sick of it. And in October I chopped it all off to a bob and I loved it and then I got sick of it. And now I'm growing it again. But I'm like, I don't know, I don't know whether to keep going or whether to go back to more of a short bob again. I don't, I never know. Yeah, and it's just, it's just hair and it, it grows, doesn't it? So, but yeah, so. And just to say, obviously my hair is quite a golden blonde and every now and then, I will use that, which is Touch of Silver. It's the cheapest of the cheap silver shampoos. And you put it on, I leave it on for about five minutes. I just, I wash my hair normally with normal shampoo and then I wash it with this. So I do two washes, the second one with this and I leave this on for about five minutes. It turns your bath purple um, and it turns your nails purple. <laughs> but it does wonders for your hair and it's really noticeable. So if you use it, I, I think this really makes a big difference. I probably only use it once every couple of weeks. I did use it a couple of times on the run a couple of weeks ago and I noticed my hair had always gone a bit too grey. So it does really, really work. That's really good. And it's from like a cheapy, cheap shop. I think you can get it at like Home Bargain. It's, I don't even think it's a couple of pounds. Because there are some amazing purple shampoos on the market, but... I don't, they just all do the same job and I think that one's great. So the next thing that I'm going to use is my Aussie Turn Up The Curl Mousse. And again, I just probably put a palm full, two golf, two golf balls I would say that is. And again, 
just pop that through and make sure that you're not sort of missing out bits and then round this side as well oh i think the bin men have actually just emptied the bins they uh they only empty the bins every other week where we live they do the recycling every week and the bins every other week i get quite excited when the bins have been actually emptied <laughs> That's a sign of being a grown-up, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, yes, they went to the big bin! <laughs> okay, so we are product is in. So now what I'm going to do, I literally go forward with a towel and I'll show you here, I literally just squeeze it up like that I don't rub it I don't do anything else to it I literally just grab handfuls of it so my hands like in a it sort of does that and that's all I'm doing I mean there are lots of um, videos and they'll show you I mean you shouldn't be apparently you shouldn't use a towel you should use like uh, like a t-shirt sort of material and I've used a t-shirt and it doesn't I don't think it makes a difference because I don't rub my hair anyway I'll tie it up in a towel once it's done and then I just leave it um so I'm just gonna go forward and just shake it out a little bit I don't know if you can can you see that and I'm literally just gonna do this and you're just taking all the rest out of your hair. You can hear noise in the background. My son has finished um, college for the summer. Woohoo! So with nine weeks of him at home, eating his, um, eating the cupboards bare. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take small-ish amounts of my hair, and I am literally just going to twist them like that and I twist them right the way down to the ends and I just leave it and I don't necessarily do every bit of hair but I just like to do more the top layers and I don't do it in any particular order so just going around So you can see how white my hair is here. I mean, my mum has got completely naturally sort of white hair and my nan had very, very white hair from quite a young age, actually. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm not, I don't mind. It's the Helen Mirren, you know? I don't mind if I go white. So, and can you see how the curls sit there then, more like that? And then I'm just going to grab a few pieces from the front and literally just twist and twist and twist. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to strawberry picking tonight after school when I pick my little girl up. She's well gutted because my son's finished. And she's still at school for another two weeks, so I'm trying to do nice things with her on our days off so that she doesn't feel like life's completely unfair. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to leave that like that and I'm just going to move around to this side and I'm going to go the opposite way with these so that the twists are kind of away from your face, if you understand what I'm saying. It's so easy and so quick, and you don't need to be um, regimented about which bits you do and which, bit, which bits you don't do. Um, I mean, if you're finding this very boring, you can just go to the end of the video. <laughs> um, yeah, so but it's quite therapeutic, really. I'm still using the Trini London makeup. Um, 
I've got it all on again today. The only thing I haven't got on that I um, is the blush. I've put my own, it's a Clarin sort of powder blush over the top. I've used her bronzer and her highlighter, but I've put my powder blush on. I just found that the blush wasn't really the colour that, I, I don't think it's the consistency of it, it's the colour of it. The colour's very, very intense. And to put a lot of the colour on, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, I like quite a lot of colour on my cheeks and it, it just wasn't the right colour, I don't think, um, for me. So I want something a little bit more pinky. So I am going to order another one. Um, I'm going to order the colour Wigs, I think. That's the one that I want this time. Um, so... But yeah, I've been really impressed with it and I feel that my skin sort of really is dead glowy with it still. Uh, I'm just going to do... See, once you've, once you've done it really, you can sort of see which bits you need to do and which bits you don't. And Like I say, you don't have to keep doing it. Uh, I might... Sometimes you wonder which way to take pieces. I'm going to take it that way and twist it all around. Uh, right. This side's my my rubbish side, really. My hair. I oh, see that my hair's a bit pants on this side. It's quite thin. But I think it's just where you wear your parting, isn't it? So although I've got less hair on this side, it bloody takes longer because I'm messing around with it. We split that into two. I'm going to do two here and then I am done. And then we're going to dry it. And then we'll see what, what we've done. <laughs> so this method of curling your hair like this is actually called the curly girl method. And um, yeah, so that's how I've been left. So what I'm going to do now, I have my hair dryer which is a Remington silk and a diffuser. You can't do this look without a diffuser. So the diffuser, um, again, just came with the hairdryer. And I am literally, I'm gonna do it on quite a low um, heat and a slow speed. And it's literally just going to be putting your hair in and taking it right up to the root and just leaving it like that to dry. But I am gonna do a little bit of it upside down. So I might not be able to film that much but um because i don't know how much of it you'll see so i'm just going to put it on and then i'll get back to you So that is pretty much it. It's still a little bit damp underneath. So I'm probably, I'm just going to go back in underneath with the dryer and I feel I'm a little bit damp here still. So I won't be a second. And you just kind of want to sort of shake them all out really and the reason I like this way of doing it is just because my hair has a tendency to go quite big and I think doing it this way it sort of contains it a little bit and just makes it a nicer curl um, and it also I think gives it a little bit of a shine because the problem with blonde hair is you never really unless you're in a Timothee advert <laughs> I just don't think blonde hair ever looks shiny really, especially curly blonde hair. But I think with this, it just does tend to make it look a little bit more healthy and a little bit, um, I just think it looks like you've got a healthy head of hair on, on your head. 
Um, so yeah, so that's it. And then obviously it just needs a little bit of playing around with because curly hair, it'll drop. I tend to, throughout the day, I tend to sort of take this bit back a little bit just to keep it out of my way and then probably by tomorrow as you will see in my videos I tend to tuck this front piece just behind my ear a little bit um, but obviously I won't do that today because I've only just done it so um, I hope that it's given you a little bit of inspiration if you've got sort of slightly curly hair about what to do with it there are days when I don't do that and I will literally just scrunch it with the towel and let it dry by itself and I get a, a different kind of curl down I get sort of a more corkscrewy curl but it does tend to be a little bit frizzier um, but yeah I hope that um, you've enjoyed this video hope it's given you some food for thought I will just grab some hairspray so the hairspray that I've got is the Shine Bright Tonight by Ozzy. I really don't think it matters. Hairspray, in my opinion, is hairspray. And that is coming from somebody who was a hairdresser. Um, so I'm literally just going to... It smells, this hairspray. What is it supposed to be? But the wild cherry bark extract. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, I don't miss all the um, chemicals I must have inhaled into my bloody lungs as a hairdresser with that perm solution and all the hairspray. So yeah, so that is it. And because I haven't got a fringe, so I don't actually mind if that sort of comes over my forehead a little bit. So that is, that is me done. So like I say, this has been quite a requested video. So I hope that it has given you a little bit of inspiration, shown you an inside view as to how I do my hair. Like I say, I don't do it like this all the time, but I think, I, th I think, I think the curly girl sort of method of twirling your hair, especially if you've got hair that doesn't really want to curl as much, or if you've got quite unruly curls, I think this is a really good way of doing it. But yeah, I'm so just to show you the back, just to show you. I have no idea what that looked like. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. What I'm probably going to do, I'm going to go forward and I'm going to shake it again because I just feel that that's what this hair needs. Because sometimes the curls just need to be separated out a little bit. Now that feels, uh, that's a bit better. So it's just knowing your own hair as well. And I know that if my hair starts to go a little bit flat, a little bit funny looking, whack it upside down, rub your fingers through it and just come back up and it's like it's revived. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I'll be back really soon with another charity shop haul um, with another wild dress it is this time um, and a size sort of 14, 16 try on. I am going to be looking soon to do a bit of a sort of what to take on a UK holiday um, clothes wise. And then I might do the same with sort of cosmetics and all the other paraphernalia that you might need if you're self-catering in the UK. Um, so if they, are, if they are videos that you would be interested in, then please um, let me know. If I'm not doing content, or if I'm not doing something that you would really like to see, then please don't forget to leave it in the comments below. I've had quite a lot of interest in um, talking about my how I became a midwife journey. And again, if that's something that you'd be interested in, then... I, I don't want to do a video like that if like only three or four people are, are, are interested in it but if it is something that you would be interested in my journey of going back to university at the grand old age of 27 um, and how I got there and how I made those decisions and things then again just um, leave me a comment so if like I say if you like this look just have a go have a, have a mess about yourselves and uh, yeah and if there's loads and loads of videos on YouTube called Curly Girl Method and um, I'll try and link sort of a couple of them in the description box below. She probably on there explains it a whole heap better than I have and um, but yeah but these are the curls I've got. This is what nature's given me so you've got to make the best of them haven't you? So yeah so I'll see you really soon in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching and take lots of care.